So the um, talk that I gave uh, a couple days ago here um, was sort of a discussion about what are some of the features, uh, disease characteristics that direct treatment, first treatment for patients with CLL these days, particularly with the targeted therapies. So in the past, we thought a lot and focused a lot on fitness and patient's age because we knew that the older patients didn't tolerate the more intensive chemoimmunotherapy regimens. That's changed because of the targeted therapies. Those therapies are tolerated by the older population. We do see a bit more toxicity among the older population, but in general, they can pretty much all tolerate those targeted therapies. Renal insufficiency is one characteristic we worry about for patients potentially going on venetoclax because that can increase their risk for tumor lysis syndrome. Um, and so that does direct treatment somewhat. The other characteristics are 17P deletion and mutated TP53. We worry about those patients going on fixed duration treatment. And so the preference for that population is on a maintenance treatment. For example, with a BTK inhibitor, continuous treatment for patients with 17P deletion mutated TP53. And then the other characteristic is the IGHV mutation status. And that's particularly important for patients going on fixed duration treatment because we do know that the patients with an unmutated immunoglobulin gene are more likely to progress earlier than the patients who have a mutated immunoglobulin gene. Um, but there are some characteristics and features that help drive treatment. Most of the patients respond and are appropriate for targeted therapy, and so much of the discussion is really around, do we want to manage our patients with continuous treatment, maintenance treatment, and what's the patient's preference versus fixed duration treatment to get them in remission with a fixed period of treatment and then off treatment in remission for extended periods of time.